Attention to orders. The Honorable Casper W. Weinberger has awarded the Department of the Army Distinguished Civilian Service Award in recognition and appreciation of his dedicated service as the Secretary of Defense and his extraordinary contributions to enhancement of the national security posture. His stewardship ensured ready understanding and a balanced approach to meeting the Army's requirements for force structure, modernization, and readiness while substantially improving the working and living environments for our soldiers and their families. Secretary Weinberger has established himself as a truly exceptional leader with vision, dedication, and integrity. His selfless service to the United States Army, the Department of Defense, and this great nation stands as a worthy example for all American citizens to emulate. Signed, John O. Marsh, Jr., Secretary of the Army. distinguished public service to the United States of America as Secretary of Defense from January 1981 to November 1987. Through exemplary leadership, courageous vision, and unflagging loyalty to the country, the President, and the American Armed Forces, Secretary Weinberger captained the re-emergence of the United States Navy and Marine Corps as strong and resolute guardians of our national security and the security of friendly and allied nations around the world. Stirring an unwavering course of peace through sea power, Secretary Weinberger championed the revitalization of America's maritime forces through unprecedented improvements in the quality and quantity of naval personnel, ships, submarines, aircraft, and weapon systems. As a result of those efforts, the men and women of the Navy and Marine Corps again exhibit the talent, dedication, and readiness that has characterized their place in our nation's history. Signed, James W. Webb, Jr., Secretary of the Navy. The award is being presented today by the Honorable H. Lawrence Garrett III, Under Secretary of the Navy. The Department of the Air Force presents the decoration for exceptional civilian service to Casper W. Weinberger, as Secretary of Defense from 21 January 1981 to 17 November 1987, Casper W. Weinberger demonstrated intellect, foresight, and management skills in a position of great importance to the nation and the United States Air Force. Under his decisive leadership, the United States has modernized our strategic and tactical weapon systems, improved readiness and sustainability and enhanced our national security space program. His overarching commitment to people fostered a renewed sense of pride in the military profession. Signed, Edward C. Aldridge, Jr., Secretary of the Air Force. ceremony, honoring our departing Secretary of Defense, Casper W. Weinberger and his wife, Jane, as they step into another phase of their life after nearly seven eventful, I say I never met a microphone I didn't like, but I want to say for the record how much you admired, Mr. Secretary. Your remarkable leg legacy is visible to them every day, and believe me, 
They are extremely grateful for what you have done and achieved. I extend to you a heartfelt wish, as we say in the Navy, may you always have fair winds and following seas. President Ronald Reagan. Admiral Crow, thank you. This is a bittersweet moment for me, and I think for all of us who have known and worked closely with Cap Weinberger. Cap Weinberger started his service to this country more than 40 years ago as a buck private, and he has assembled an unparalleled record of achievement. But I bet if you were to ask him what his proudest achievement was, of each individual human soul, and forces implacably hostile to those ideals. If one faces that reality foursquare, without a loop, with Casper Weinberger at the helm, we turn that around. And today we have a military that is once again ready, able, and willing. A modern defense worthy, Weinberger, just as he learned from and he to the example of another great champion of peace through strength. I'm thinking of one particular example. One lone member of parliament in the 1930s who saw the hard political battle, and in a way, winning that battle was the true turning point of the Battle of Britain. In the end, Churchill's vision and foresight won the day for in this one area or any area. SDI holds out hope of a world free from the fear of ballistic missiles. It is, as Cap likes to say, innocent technology tensions between our country and the Soviet Union and thus open up new areas of cooperation and peaceful exchange. Cap, today we say farewell. For more than two decades, I've known many times to find a to unify the safe harbor of peace. Soviet Union. Cap, thank you. Often has the last word. Federal regulatory agency chairman and three-time federal cabinet member, Casper Cap W. Wine, Grateful Nation. Thank you. President, I'm a very kind man. To restore the pride of the Republic, return government to the people, and defend liberty not for its own, but with robust military strength and with great courage. Being challenged and denied by some, and being denied by some. That decade of neglect was fed really by a rather insidious idea that somehow American power was immoral. We began. As you and I know, Mr. President, every time we've had a chance to visit our troops, and you've discussed it with me, and I've mentioned to you, we have been struck by how much they really want to do that job, and how proud they are of what they're doing. They're a very special breed of young people, and they are led by an exception that I am thankful to have had the good fortune to have grown up in the freest, most prosperous, and yes, the most just society that the world has ever known. Mr. President, I Mrs. Weinberger is now being presented with a personal note of appreciation from the President of the United States. Mrs. Weinberger is also being presented a bouquet.
We want sailors bold who can work for their gold. He 